Hello and welcome to the summer edition of Linguistics English 315 Introduction to English Linguistics. I am Dr. Maithili Menon. I am going to be your instructor of record for this online version of Introduction to English Linguistics. I am uh, an assistant professor of linguistics and English in the English department at Wichita State University. And I have been teaching this class for seven years at Wichita State University. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is to um, walk you through the syllabus and the syllabus will be available online on Blackboard. And um, I'm just going to be walking you through the syllabus. The summer schedule looks a little bit different from, um, you know, when I typically teach um, the class either in the fall semester or the spring semester, just because of the fact that we have eight weeks to uh, finish the class versus 16 uh, weeks to do so. So um, I will give you a fair bit of warning that a couple of the weeks will look heavy, especially uh, some of the weeks in June where we have to uh, finish a couple of modules in one week. So um, so just try to stay on top. That's the biggest advice I can give you. Uh, if you fall behind, it's very difficult to catch up because uh, we typically build uh, one module on top of the other. So you would require knowledge of the previous module in order to understand the next module. So with that caveat, um, let's get into the syllabus. So like I said, that's my name, uh, Dr. Maithili Menon, and my email address is uh, my first name, not last name at wichita.edu. Now, uh, make sure that you are um, spelling the uh, my first name and last name correctly, because otherwise, you know, sometimes the email bounces if you're sending it to the wrong, um, you know, email. So just make sure that uh, you are typing in my correct email address. Uh, my office is in Lindquist Hall, uh, 608A. Um, and so that's on the sixth floor of the Lindquist uh, Hall building in the English department. But since this is an online class, you will only be meeting we, me via Zoom. Uh, and my office hours for this uh, summer schedule is between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock in the morning on Wednesdays on Zoom. And I will be putting the Zoom link into Blackboard. Uh, but, you know, if you can make that, I'm also happy to make an appointment to meet you again via Zoom. Uh, we do have a teaching assistant on this class. Uh, she's the one who's going to be doing some discussion sections with you. She's the one who's predominantly going to be doing the grading. Her name is Caitlin Hamburger. Some of you might know her from another class that you've taken with her. Uh, she is a graduate student in the English department uh, pursuing a master's uh, in linguistics. And um, her email address is uh, there. And her office hours will be announced shortly. Um, and so let's dive in to the course description. So this is an introduction to linguistics class. And so very often when a student takes this class, um, they have no idea what linguistics is. Some of you may have taken Linguistics 151 in a prior semester. Some of you may have taken another linguistic class in another department. But very often, uh, majority of the students who take this class, uh, either from your secondary education program where it is mandatory to take this class, you come with zero to no understanding of linguistics. And I don't assume that you come with a linguistics background, but just, um, you know, because this is in the English department, a lot of students actually think it's going to be like an English class where you're going to be doing a lot of reading and we're going to be doing a lot of discussion. And unfortunately, that's not the case with linguistics. Linguistics, my favorite analogy is that linguistics is a lot more similar to science and mathematics than it is to English or English type of uh, classes. And so that's one thing that I often tell my students that, you know, we are going to be talking about different concepts, fundamental concepts in linguistics. We're going to be talking about different uh, modules and different subfields of linguistics. We are going to be using predominantly English data uh, in doing so. Uh, and in different classes, we will be doing other, you know, uh, cross linguistic examinations, such as in Linguistics 151. But in this class, we are predominantly going to be using English. Uh, but really, the broad goal is to introduce phonological and grammatical concepts in um, modern linguistics. And so um, the measurable learning outcomes for this uh, course is that, you know, you have to be familiar with the types of representational units. We will be using 
what we uh, call in linguistics the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA. So this is a way in which you phonemically uh, and phonetically understand why sounds are, why words are spelled the way they are or pronounced the way they are. Um, so we will be, uh, you know, um, walking you through IPA uh, as well as formulating different rules to describe the patterns of speech sounds, morphemes, and words in English and other languages, uh, understand the predictions generated by these rules, and uh, also look at different analyses of linguistic data um, and understand patterns behind language in what we can understand about um, the way English is patterning or the way languages pattern across the world. And there is a required textbook for this class, but I do not require you to purchase a hard copy of it. Uh, so there are hard copies available if you need it. You can also rent it through Amazon if you don't want to uh, own a copy. Very often uh, you will also be able to find it if you know somebody from your program who's taken my class before and get it from them. But we also have a lot of accessible formats for the textbook and I've kind of given you all that. It's also available on Access now. So just like I said, just get the readings and do the readings. I don't require you to physically own a copy of the book. I am completely aware that textbooks, textbook costs are not affordable. Uh, and so, you know, I say required textbook, but basically what I want you to do is to do the required readings. And, you know, I don't care how you do it. I mean, um, whether you own a copy or not. So just do the readings and they have been assigned for every week. So you will see it as we get into the detailed syllabus. Um, now, these are pretty straightforward. I'm assuming that by now you would have taken, um, you know, online classes at Wichita State. So I'm not really going to be, you know, walking you through this. Um, all right. So just just a, 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 a brief note on the contact policy. So uh, always, you know, when, when you're trying to communicate with me, um, email is my preferred form of communication. Please use your WSU email address because any other uh, email address, your personal email address, uh, you know, that you use might uh, go into the spam folder. Um, and so I might not be able to see it. So just always remember to use your WSU email address when you're sending me an email. And uh, also, um, you know, um, just tell me what course number and what, you know, what the um, title of the course is and the subject line just, you know, when I teach multiple classes, it just makes it easier for me to know which class you belong to. If there is any text support uh, questions, that should go to one stop. That does not go to me because I am as technically challenged as you are, uh, even after teaching Europe for seven years. So please contact one stop uh, for any text support or black or, uh, support issues that you may need. Um, all right, so uh, I typically respond within a day to 24 hours is my typical response time. But uh, you know, if I'm traveling and I will be traveling towards the end of the semester around July 4th, so I will let you know before that I will be away. Um, during that time, my responses might be more sporadic and uh, slower than usual. Um, the grading scale is pretty straightforward. Uh, 93 and above is an A, and then less than 50 is an F. Uh, typically, my students tend to uh, fall between the, you know, the 100 to around 80 uh, kind of uh, percentage. Very few students actually go below that because, you know, uh, typically students tend to do well in this class so just if you are falling behind please reach out to me because there is help if you need it but unless I know that you need help I can't help you so please reach out to me by email or come into my uh, office hours on zoom uh, if you need any extra help so um, like I said the the way these assignments and other grading um, is structured in this class is very different just because of the subject content and the subject matter of linguistics. And so assignments typically look like um, problem sets. So this would be either some data that you need to an analyze and then I'll ask you a couple of questions on the data or, you know, um, there are, um, some rules that I give you, and then I ask you to generate more rules or uh, give me some outliers for those rules and things like that. So there are eight of them. 
uh, uh, during the course of the semester, and each is worth 5% of your final grade. So some of the weeks you might see two assignments just because like i said this is a shorter semester than usual so uh, that's something to keep in mind which is why i said that you really have to be on top of things for you know um, to be successful in the summer uh, semester so just make sure everything is already scheduled so you can kind of block out your calendar just stay organized so that you complete your assignments on time uh, there will be pop courses, and these are open book, as well as two exams, also open book. Uh, so week four is the midterm, and week eight is the final. And they are non-cumulative. They're open book. They're timed online tests. Typically, you get about two hours to do it unless you have an accommodation. Um, but uh, these have all been scheduled, so there are no surprises in any of that. I accept late assignments only up to a total of two times this semester. Um, so use it wisely uh, and you need to let me know via email uh, if you are going to take a lead on it um, and then it will be due the next uh, Sunday of the next week. So you typically get an extra week to do it. So I am uh, the director of the linguistics program at Wichita State. So I direct the applied linguistics major as well as the linguistics minor. So if you are interested in either the applied linguistics major or doing a minor in linguistics, please come and talk to me about it. You can come during my office hours to talk about it, or we can make an appointment, uh, you know, separately to talk about uh, your interest in linguistics. All right, so now let's get into the syllabus itself, the schedule. So here we are. So um, I have divided them according to the week, uh, the dates, watch and complete, and read. So this is really going to be your guidebook uh, to know what to do when, right, in each of the weeks uh, on Blackboard. The Blackboard will open up as course shells. So week one will open up. Um, on Monday of this week, so today, uh, if it's a Monday, then it'll open up today, uh, and then every other mon every Monday uh, of every week. Uh, and then you will watch a couple of videos, you will complete uh, either an assignment or a pop quiz or both, uh, as well as do the uh, readings assigned for um, that week. So first we do linguistics as cognitive science, then we go into phonetics and phonology next week, then acquisition and morphology, then we do the midterm on week four. That is the final week of June. Then we do syntax, semantics, pragmatics, and then the finals. Um, and so uh, it is going to be um, heavy uh, and it is going to be hard unless you keep track of what you need to watch and when you need to watch it. So like I said, keep the schedule with you uh, so that you can stay on top of things. Um, and again, like I said, the the way that this course is structured is very different from a couple of the other English classes that you would be familiar with. So it might require a little bit of getting used to, but I am here to help you if you need me. And so please uh, send me an email. My email address is right here, um, mythley.menon at wichita.edu. If you have a question, uh, or you can also contact me via Blackboard, uh, email your instructor um, on Blackboard. And there will be a video um, talking about how Blackboard will look like, and you should watch that video as well. Now, the last uh, note that I wanted to say is that um, this video is recorded for the summer um, semester, but all the other asynchronous lectures that you will be watching was recorded in a previous semester, all right? And so, um, even though the content is what you should be paying and focusing attention on, there could be some dates in there in those lectures where I talk about, okay, well, tomorrow is a midterm, you have to come in person or something like that. Please don't pay attention to those. The schedule that you see on this syllabus is the schedule that you have to keep in mind, all right? Um, anything in the lecture where I talk about a date or an assignment or something is not going to hold true because the lecture, the, those lectures were recorded in a prior semester. So I just wanted to say that, and I'm going to put that on Blackboard as well, because sometimes it trips students up. Uh, but if the schedule in here is what you need to follow and not any of the dates, any of the things that I talk about when I talk about, you know, assignments or midterm in the lectures. But the content remains the same. The content is what you have to pay attention to uh, in each of these lectures. With that, um, I uh, welcome you all to a wonderful summer semester, and uh, I look forward to getting to know each of you in person.